Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Uh, I know I am. Um, some of you know me that are watching this. Uh, I think a lot of you probably don't. Um, my name is Tony Caldwell. I'm using this platform to announce that I have officially published my first fiction book. It's this one right here called Zero. Um, it goes on sale on the Amazon store um, as a Kindle ebook for pre order on October 1st, which means if you order it on October 1st all the way up to the release date, um, you will have it downloaded straight to your phone or your tablet or whatever device you want uh, on the official release date, which is November 1st. And that's when you can pick up your print copy, like I have right here, obviously without the not for resale banner across it because this is an author proof um, but I did want to give a quick a brief history about this book um, it is actually about a decade in the making uh, that's not to say it took me 10 years to write a book uh, <laughs> like continuously working on it for 10 years and what kind of writer would I be um, but I did begin work on this book in 2009 I uh, wrote about a third of it uh, back then, and then I shelved it. I had a lot of other projects going on, writing projects, music projects, things like that. So it, it, it ended up on the shelf, and I didn't work on it for quite some time. Now, in uh, about uh, mid to late 2017 is when I dusted it off and pulled it back out, and my writing style had changed. My skills of they had been honed over the years, and I decided I'm going to give this another go, go back and um, rewrite everything I'd already written. So I did that, uh, and by mid-2018, it was finished, uh, barring uh, the next few months of revisions and uh, things like that, editing, all that stuff. And uh, I finally came out with a product that uh, I'm incredibly confident in. And uh, it became this book that I published through Kindle Direct Publishing. Um, it's a, an Amazon program that allows people to uh, publish their own books. It is a self-publishing platform. Uh, and for a long time, you know, I was, I was against doing it because there was quite a stigma about self-publishing. But um, the more I talked with some author friends that I made uh, through different platforms and things, they said that uh, self-publishing is a great idea. They have had great success with it. And uh, I decided as long as I was confident in my work, and I better be because I revised it about 100,000 times. I've probably read this book front to back 100,000 times by now. Um, that I should go ahead and, and take the plunge and self-publish. And so I did. I formatted everything in the book myself. Um, and I finished writing it, uh, going back and revising it. And I went ahead and uploaded it to Amazon, and here it is today. Um, so there were a few people that I wanted to thank for helping me make this possible. Uh, number one, because it's directly associated with the book, I have to thank David Roman, a good friend of mine who designed the cover art, and it's gorgeous. And I wanted to give him uh, a big shout-out for the fact that he was incredibly patient with me, because I was very picky on how I wanted this cover to look. And he'd sent me a few concepts. I had, you know, said, no, that's that's not what I want. And then I said, okay, yeah, use this, but don't use that. And I need to add this. And, and he was very, very patient with me. And, uh, and he did a great job on this cover. I love it. And uh, I look forward to working with him in the future for more projects like this, because he's a great artist. Uh, so thanks a lot, David. Um, I also need to thank, of course, my mother, who was the first person who read the first draft of this book before it ever was even a book, and uh, gave me a lot of good feedback on it, and uh, I was I was really happy that she read it, and because she's not a huge fan of fiction, but she read it, and she, she very much enjoyed it. Um, and then I have to thank uh, a few other people, my friends, uh, Jared, Nick, and Doc, who have been my friend, my, my oldest friends, and uh, they've always supported everything I've done creatively, and uh, just kept pushing me to do better and better. So I'm um, glad they were by me uh, for this this entire process because I, I couldn't have got through it without them. 
Um, I also need to thank uh, Sean, Chuck, and Nick G, uh, other really good friends of mine who I workshopped this book with, and you know they gave me a lot of good advice on uh, typeface and just the little the little minute changes that I made with the with uh, some of the fonts and cover, and uh, it was it was really really helpful. And uh, they've always been supportive of what I've done as well, and they just can't wait to read the book. So that's uh, that's fantastic, and I thank you guys a lot. Um, and now I do have to thank probably the most important person um, involved with this book. So I have to show you my dedication page in order to do so. My Uncle Kenny. He has been my personal hero since I was a kid, since I first started writing at 12 years old. Uh, he always, always, always pushed me to be more and more creative. Um, you know, the quote that I have in here, artists run this world, is what he always told me. And uh, more and more I'm learning what he meant by that. Uh, he he passed away a couple of years ago, and I'm, I miss him every day, and I know he would have loved this book. He would have loved to see this, that this was done, and uh, that's why I dedicated it to him uh, as an homage to my, my hero. Um, so all of that out of the way, I'm sure you want to hear about the book itself, not just about the process it took to make it a reality. Um, it is... It's kind of hard to pigeonhole into a genre because it, it dips its toes in a lot of different ones. It's uh, fantasy, it has elements of horror, um, science fiction, psychological. Uh, a lot of different things are involved in this book. And anyone who likes any of those genres will like this, I promise you. So, um, and... Also, I want to thank everyone watching this video, whether you've never heard of me, whether you're an old friend of mine, whether you just happened upon this uh, this group, this Facebook group that this is uh, being broadcast from. Uh, I want to thank you for giving me a chance and for taking a look at, at what I have to offer. I hope that you purchase the book and I hope you read it uh, and I hope you give feedback. Amazon reviews are fantastic or you can talk to me on here on the group. I'll read everything. Um, and I'll try to respond to everything. Um, but yeah, good feedback, bad feedback does not matter. I'm not arrogant. I'm not going to say, well, you just don't understand my work. I'm not that person. I take everyone's advice into consideration. And uh, so I, I'm really excited to announce the release of this book and hear what everyone thinks. Again, the Kindle pre-order event begins on October 1st. It is uh, $2.99 for the ebook edition, or you can wait until November 1st, which is the official release date for every format of the book, including print. And uh, the print book is $9.99. And I also wanted to say I'm going to see about a promotion, a promotional event, after the release date at some point for a limited time where if you purchase the print copy of the book you will receive a free ebook of the same name so uh look forward to that if you want to wait uh if not like i said pre-order october 1st and the official release date is november 1st uh as far as these videos i'm going to try and make an update video every week on this group uh preferably mondays but it could change um and Basically, that's about it. I just wanted to announce that my book is finally a reality, and I hope that everyone gets their copy, and it, I hope that it, it treats you well through this winter as a great read. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'll, I'll see you next time.